In the year 2020, Uganda education system went digital when institutions majorly embraced the online education as urged by the government. Two, 19 class, 11, 3, 7, 3, 4, 3, respectively. And then you have to add. Since then, it became another platform where a lot of crucial data is shared, plus seminars as well. Now, according to RENU, the organization that works on connecting schools within the country, the biggest portion of the sector is left out since they do not have internet access to connect with fellows on other e-learning platforms. At the moment, we have connected over 60 schools. That's a very small fraction of the number of schools in Uganda. And we want to have as many schools connected to RENU to benefit from what has just happened today in the virtual seminars. After the virtual mathematics seminar hosted today via Holistic e-learning platform where several local and international schools participated, Brian Masiga, a network engineer at Renu, says that this provides good experience to students through interactions, therefore should serve as a model to the government. For the schools in Kampala to also realize that the schools up country are actually doing something very nice and interesting. But by the students listening to one another, they are able to see how technically or good the other students are. And this enables them to realize that we are Ugandans, we are one. Ronald Dungu, who works with the Ministry of Education in private schools and institutions, says that this would be a proper instrument in fighting learning gaps since some schools do not have certain priorities. Our schools are not at the same level. We don't have enough teachers, we don't have the same teachers across schools, but when you bring schools together like this, then it means that you are closing the learning gap. But beyond that, the children grow as one child, as one citizen of Uganda, and that is to promote patriotism. When they come to the university, they are one. Teachers have showed how online seminars have helped them improve education while connecting with other schools virtually. Our students, you can see when they send us these questions, they have researched and you see there. One thing that motivated me a lot is the, when they ask them which question they are going to present, they told us any, they told me any question. Schools have different methodologies of, of doing certain things. Take an example that in case a school is solving a number of simultaneous equations, we have schools that, are, that teach the, the method of using the matrix method, we have schools that use the elimination, we have schools that teach the substitution. Students who participated in virtual seminars also had this to say. When you get to know that not everything is hard because we've been learning these things in like topics, if we learn like everything at the same time, it's going to be hard. But as long as we section it into topics, then it's a lot easier to understand and very much broken down. It has boosted my confidence. I have, ex I have got extreme confidence due to this, and this is how I'm able to talk to you right now. It's helped me see the topics to do in mathematics. The help of my teachers who I consulted. Story compiled by Dyson Keswa for Dream TV News.